Good morning, dear colleagues. Uh, let me uh, tell you about uh, the modern uh, methods of uh, visualization, including ultrasound. As it was mentioned in the previous presentation, ultrasound uh, is uh, the main uh, method, uh, and uh, uh, most uh, malignancies uh, detection uh, is in the thyroid. Uh, highly differentiated cancer is 90% of all the malignant tumors, uh, and at planned ultrasound, uh, 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 we uh, get better diagnosis of uh, this uh, uh, disease, some 40, over 40 percent due to the wide usage of ultrasound in the U.S. And in the years 1920, it may be number three in uh, women regarding the frequency. As you see on the uh, slide, uh, um, you see uh, imaging. Uh, with the tyrants, with small and big um, um, signs of malignancy. Well, definitely we send this material for uh, uh, such patients for F FNA, uh, fine needle aspiration, and it may be papilla cancer, nodal uh, form, and colloid uh, node. FNA is now not a standard uh, of diagnosis, but the primary part of diagnosis is relatively safe, no radiation, inexpensive, but there may be false negative uh, results. And it's not very efficient if the goiter has many nodes. Um, it's difficult to get the material in case of small uh, nodes, in case it's anterior, also follicular uh, tumors are a difficulty, or mixed cancer, or minimum uh, cancer in case of uh, tireoiditis. These are all the difficult uh, cases, and it uh, is a part of Bethesda classification. Um, number three, number four, and number five groups um, uh, cause um, um, hesitation. So ultrasound at present may do the necessary uh, study in different uh, mode, including uh, Doppler uh, mode uh, since the year 08, um, elastography and compression uh, shear wave may be uh, used, and the contrast um, um, CUS. And as Yelena Polyaktivna mentioned, um, uh, the pathology vascular uh, pattern may be in any type of blood uh, flow, different kinds of abnormalities, but that's only in 50% of cases of uh, thyroid cancers. Uh, what's the uh, plus of elastography? If there's a palpated neoplasm in the gland that needs specification, as well as for the assessment of the condition of regional lymph nodes, um, the uh, guidelines uh, were already issued on uh, that. Um, elastography and elastometry mode is the addition to the B mode, um, and uh, it, uh, it determines the relative rigidity of tissues, um, especially if it's typical for papilla cancer. And the uh, diagnostic precision of um, uh, this uh, Method is 91-96% according to the year 16 data. Sometimes neoplasms have low and um, medium rigidity, hence elastography is not um, useful for such cancers. There are two methods of elastography, compression and of the um, um, shift wave. Compression is dosed compression on the node uh, by the operator and uh, it um, has the color code and assessment, and the deformation uh, ratio is determined. Uh, we can compare the rigidity of um, uh, the healthy and nearby tissues. Um, there's quantitative assessment, uh, and the borderline uh, is pretty uh, precise, uh, some three units. Um, uh, well, shear wave elastography is subdivided into the spot elastography uh, with uh, different speed of the wave. 
and uh, echography may be conducted. Um, the threshold uh, between benign and uh, malignant is from 2.4 and 4.7 microseconds. And um, uh, 2D is WME, uh, the user color code. These are shades of red. That's rigid tissues, and blue is um, less rigid um, um, tissues. This is all the threshold value in kilopascal from 22.3 um, up to 48.5. On this slide, you can see different types of papillary cancer. Now, the rigid parts in the structure of a thyroid and uh, this diagnostic precision is pretty high in case of highly differentiated papilla uh, cancer. But there are artifacts, like in any method, like maybe a high possession of carotid arteries, calcinates, big cysts. And um, in case of compression elastography, the depth of uh, the location. And also it's difficult uh, to detect in case of multiple nodes and in case of autoimmune thyroiditis. Uh, shear wave elastography, SWE, enables us uh, to find uh, the rigid parts and to assess them. Uh, here are papillary cancers, same artifacts. But uh, mind you, there's another artifact existing when there's no quality assessment of elastometry, the so-called gray zone, in the center of a very rigid node. It's difficult uh, to make studies in case of autoimmune thyroiditis. Contrast, um, uh, magnify them. Ultrasound, it's only for single non-focal uh, nodes um, for contrasting. We uh, used um, a BRCA uh, company uh, preparation uh, contrast solution with a low amplitude mechanical index. And the time of um, uh, the research took the uh, first 30 seconds um, and then 90 seconds, um, the Venus part. Um. After the guidelines were issued in the year 18, uh, uh, in the year 11, sorry, a number of articles appeared that enable us um, to learn um, about uh, the nodes of thyroid, and the number of articles explain that the combination of uh, uh, this and elastography uh, uh, is um, uh, pretty good for diagnosis. Um, when should it be used? Multi chamber uh, comprehensive uh, uh, cysts with a, a soft tissue component, uh, heterogeneous content. Um, also be a mode, a primary uh, nodes um, uh, with signs of cancer follicular, tumors uh, uh, with uh, a cyst component when residual tissues are found after surgery. Also to assess the efficacy of treatment uh, after the radiofrequency ablation or cryoablation. It should be mentioned uh, so that we understand each other. There's the contrasting pattern with no contrast when the node is not contrasted or hypercontrast when it is contrasted higher than parenchyma of thyroid or isocontrast uh, when the intensiveness is same as the parenchyma of uh, thyroid or hypercontrast uh, with lower intensity. For benign nodes, um, uh, ring contrasting with high uh, sensitivity and specificity, isocontrast and hypercontrast pattern and uh, um, that's for benign type of business, the one, two, three, and uh, uh, node forms of autoimmune thyroiditis and adenomas with cyst restructuring, more than 86 cases. A malignant pattern of contrasting uh, heteroechoic, non homogeneous uh, nodes, hyper contrast pattern, and cytopital diffusion of contrast. Um, these nodes um, uh, were typical for malignant uh, type um, in 88% of um, uh, cases. Um, we can assess the chemical contrast at um, qualitative assessment of um, nodes um, when it's um, uh, coming and um, 
it's uh, calculated uh, the peak of an um, um, area under the curve, that's accumulation of contrast. Um, diagnostic efficacy, we uh, see the signs of uh, malignancy, low sensitivity, and frequency at uh, B mode and CDK at uh, contrast. Um, magnification, uh, you can see that irregular form and uh, heterogeneity uh, improve specificity and um, precision of um, the method. Here are several examples. Um, low, uh, a quick a node um, with um, a non-distinct um, um, border perinatal uh, blood flow. When contrast um, is uh, added, you can see accumulation of both arterial and venous surface. And uh, we also see how the uh, accumulation takes a place. And then we see no contrasting in the center of the node. Uh, hence, uh, on the curve of intensity of uh, contrast, we see there's no contrast here. That's um, a comprehensive um, system with hemorrhagic um, content. Again, a heterogeneous uh, node with uh, cyst inclusions, very well vascularized. Um, we uh, see that elast elastography, it's a kind of heterogeneous, but these heterogeneous uh, zones are typical for uh, cyst inclusions with low rigidity uh, threshold. When contrast is added, we see uh, homogeneous accumulation, uh, both venous and arterial phase, and we see how the contrast is calming. And we see the vessels and the contrast calming. Uh, the washing out took place was um, a rather homogeneous follicular adenoma, it is the tomb. Now the two cases, uh, uh, female uh, aged from 40 to 50. First case is uh, low uh, coic node with asymmetric black uh, flow peripheral and at the bottom uh, there's a, a case with lower echogeneity with non-precise contour also with asymmetric blood flow compression elastography um, gave a different ty elastotypes first case is um, elastogram number one with low or threshold 0 0.9 if I'm not wrong and the second uh, case is uh, uh, the fourth elastotype. 3.7 is the rigidity coefficient or uh, ratio. When contrast was added in venous phase, the first, it was isoechoic, um, homogeneous, second, uh, heterogeneous. On the curve of contrasting, we uh, see that it's um, homogeneous, and that's the papilla cancer. One more case. Uh, of using contrast when searching for activated lobes of thyroid. A young woman, aged 25, she took hormones for a long time, then she stopped and then complained about the visualized node uh, that uh, was uh, in her on the root of her tongue. Uh, you can see isoechoic two nodes with rather high uh, blood flow, elastography uh, didn't uh, give high uh, signs. Second elastotype, uh, the rigidity ratio is 1.8, and when filled with contrast, we see it's homogeneous, uh, uh, filling both venous and arterial phase with a low uh, contrasting curve. Um, now this uh, was uh, the lobe at the tongue root um, um, with ectopy. The last example of using contrast and elastography uh, the, after the surgery, a female aged 60 uh, with modular cancer, nodular cancer, five years later, she complained about modifications on the surface of her neck, soft tissues, uh, the rear tissues. We found the uh, node with asymmetric periphery blood flow with um, um, uneven uh, borderline, a high uh, signs of a third, fourth elastotype. Rigidity coefficient was 25, and when contrast was added, we see heterogeneous filling of both arterial and venous phase. Here is um, an example of um, a contrasting curve, and uh, the contrast is coming. See, it's uh, coming. Um, uh, 
different way that the metastasis of cancer into the soft tissues of the neck. Now let me explain the efficacy of a treatment after the radiofrequency therma or cryoablation. It's um, discussed a lot nowadays. As for benign, mainly uh, cysts uh, node, uh, there's no discussions, but now it's being uh, used for ablation of papilla cancer if the size is less than 10 millimeters. There's a number of articles uh, explaining the usefulness of this uh, method um, and its future prospects. Um, 198 uh, patients had such surgery with rather good results. Um, uh, here is an example of uh, this uh, Studying that's the minimum uh, papilla cancer. The visualization is coming from our colleagues from China. On the right slide, they did cryoablation. Three months later, we see a residual nodal masses and the cavity is not getting contrasted anymore after the ablation. Six months later, there's practically no data for modification of the thyroid tissues um, modifications. Uh, so elastography and contrast um, um, improved uh, ultrasound uh, may be used uh, for both differential diagnosis of benign and malignant nodes of thyroid, but also to use uh, less the FNA in cases of colloid uh, type nodes with um, hemorrhagic um, contents. Um, also, it may be uh, uh, used uh, with um, FNA as uh, well if uh, there's a suspicion for malignancy. Also, we can assess the effectiveness of ablation after it.